What's going on my stock market bulls and bears? I'm your host Terry and welcome to my channel by the dip that is right guys. In today's video we're going to talk about my boy Tillman and going in with a little bit of rumor and a new SPAC. That's right. We're looking now to take the land based Golden Nugget Casino and his Landry's restaurant. So guys we're going to cover a couple key topics. What we need to know. What's going to happen? What's the good? What's the bad? We got some things that we're going to go over. So guys, hope you are excited about this. As you know, you follow this channel. We have been up a roller coaster of a ride since July on the GNOG, the Golden Nugget Online Gaming, which is focused on the Golden Nugget Online platform only, the online gaming. This one here is going to talk about the land-based casino and his restaurants. So for me, this is a possibly great recovery play because with the vaccine coming out now, there's a good chance that people's going to want to get out. And what are they going to do? They're going to want to go to those land-based casinos. And I still think people's going to want to go out to eat. So he has a lot of great restaurants. So his restaurants right now are in trouble. But with the vaccines coming out in the next few months, this could be a little bit of an opportunity. So do we trust our boy Tillman to go in him with him on this one? But we got to see. It's going to be a little risk versus reward on this spat because it's nothing official. They're just in talks, so guys. Hope you're all ready for today's video. If you are, hit that thumbs up and join the Thumbs Up Nation. I love and appreciate every single one of you guys. Let's get to the video, baby. Let's go. All right, guys. And here we are on the Investor Place Fast stock, 12 things you need to know about the fast acquisition in Tillman Fertitta SPAC. Is more Tillman Fertitta's restaurant and hospitality empire more about to become public? This was published on January the 14th, guys. So let's go here and take a look at it. Ticker symbol is going to be FST. And we know they are in talk with working with Tillman and the SPAC to bring the land base and his Landry's restaurants public. So let's get right down here. The 12 things that you want to keep in mind. The fast acquisition first became public in August of 2020. At that time, it raised $200 million by offering 20 million units at $10. Importantly, the fast acquisition shared from the beginning that it was looking to target a restaurant or hospitality business in North America. So that, that sounds pretty good right there. This is because its leadership and team spawned specializes in branding and marketing, including reviving legacy brands. Boy, if that doesn't sound like the number four right there, because Golden Nugget Land Base and the Landry's Restaurant is like definitely legacy brands, if you know what I'm saying. So this is just sounding like it is like a marriage waiting to happen. Investors should note that the FST stock could be an opportunity to get in on a turnaround opportunity in the restaurant space. With this in mind, the Bloomberg reported today that Tillman Fertitta was in talks with FAST. According to the report, Fertitta could take part of his restaurant and casino empire public via FST stock. This would include brands like the Landry's and Golden Nugget. Such a deal, including debt, would come in around $7 billion. Now, we know his restaurants have a lot of debt right now, so he, this is nice that he's looking to turn this around. And with everything turned around the economy, I think there is a good chance. These brands include the Golden Nugget Casinos and several restaurants, including Del Frisco's and the Bubblegum Shrimp. And I also remember he has the Rainforest Cafe, guys. I remember reading about that before. Fertitta previously shared he was exploring different routes to take these brands public. One possibly was a separate IPO for Golden Nugget and Landry's. Investors should also note that Fertitta's Golden Nugget Online Gaming Genog recently came public via SPAC. So I think that right there is some really good key points that we need to keep in mind, guys, about this whole deal. And I think this is, if you need a stock that's a possibly recovery play, let's go take a quick peek at it here on Robinhood. And as you can see, when that news came out, this stock was basically hovering. Let me fix this here. Stock was hovering around $10.50. And that news come out and then boom, it shot up to 11.50, so it was up like 12%. And pretty much since then, it just sold off. So it's down, you know, half percent, 7% roughly since then. So it's still $11 roughly, guys. So it's a great opportunity 
to get in here. Now, this is a rumor. It's nothing official. It's kind of like the Lucid Motors and the CCIV thing with Churchill. So, But this one is a, a lot less risk because, as you know, with these SPACs, they hold a $10 face value. So even if this doesn't go through, you still get $10. You can cash it in for $10. As you saw, they did 20 million units at $10. So right now you're risking 99 cents, basically a dollar per stock or share that you purchase. So I think what this is coming on, man, I definitely think that, I don't think that online is going to go anywhere. I think as we know, a lot of these companies, man, that the online is here to stay. There's a lot of people during the whole crisis going on that I think people realize that it's so nice to order on Amazon and people love doing Zoom meetings and stuff and businesses have adapted to this whole change. So I don't think that we have to worry about the online or anything. I just think that people will still do that with convenience. But I think on the weekends or when people's on vacations, they're going to go out to these land-based restaurants and land-based casinos for entertainment and to get out of the house. So I still think during the workday, people's going to stay home and do some stuff on their phone. You know, people's still going to be ordering. People's still going to be gambling. So I think this is a great pick. So what do you guys think? Is this something you think you'd be interested in? Well, let's go back here and dig a little bit more deep into the article. All right, guys, and this here is talking about the FSC, FST stock and the Golden Nugget SPAC merger. Although Bloomberg cautions the terms of the deal are not final and that the FST stock SPAC merger could fall through, it is clear to investors are excited. Immediately following the rumors, the fast shares shot up. But what is the appeal of the Fertitta Empire? So as you guys know, basically this is talking about everything that's happened since March with the pandemic, and now the stay-at-home orders and businesses closures have hurt revenues. Consumers are nervous about dining and visit, visiting physical casinos. Companies in the industries have laid off employees, relied on loans, otherwise suffered. However, with the vaccine rollout underway and a SPAC bet, investors could see this is a turnaround story, especially since the Golden Nugget and Landry brands could come public just in time for the reopening rally, Fertitta and fast stock investors could be winners. At this point, there is no nothing but speculation to go off of. You should still keep the potential deal on your radar. So I think that there pretty much sums it up. There was also here another article that was here saying how the fast acquisition SPAC gains are reported to deal with Fertitta on the Seek and Alpha. This was just saying here pretty much the SPAC gained 12% after the report of the Fertitta talks with the $7 billion dining and casino deal. And it says Fertitta is in talks with the dining casino assets with the fast acquisition according to Bloomberg. So that is what we covered there. So guys, this is definitely a interesting play I think that could be a recovery. Now, if you're on Robinhood, you can pick these up, ticker symbol FST. If you have a Fidelity or a TD Ameritrade as we call them, the big boy account, and you think that $11 is a little too much, you can go pick up the warrants. I think I saw the warrants for around $2.70 or $3 a piece. And basically what that means is you can exercise those warrants after any merger for $11.50. So technically right now the warrants are kind of a little expensive, but warrants can go up, man. If this thing shoots up and the restaurants open up over the summer, woo wee. And we know Tillman is going to promote the restaurants, guys. As you know, it's Golden Nugget family. We want Tillman to promote Genog, but he has been a little lackluster on promoting Genog. What is he always talking about? His restaurant. So we know he's failed us a little bit on the Genog. He's letting the business do its own thing. But we know with his restaurants, he is going to be in the media nonstop talking about his restaurants. The restaurants is Tillman's baby. We know it. I'm his brother. I know it, man. That's what, that's what it is. So guys... Like I said, this is one that could be a great recovery play. So guys, hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit that thumbs up and join the Thumbs Up Nation. I love and appreciate every single one of you. And guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Remember to buy the dip, baby. 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 Let's.